Hi, my students. Let's start our grammar book this year. Today, we will start together Unit 1. Do you remember past simple tense? Its form is we put first the subject, then we put the verb in the past. We have two kinds of verbs. The first kind is regular verbs and the second kind is irregular verbs. For example, they played football yesterday. Here the verb pl play is a regular verb. So we just added ed to the verb to make it in the past. Another example, she saw a line last year. The verb so is an irregular verb because we didn't add ed to the base form or the infinitive but we changed the shape, the letters of the verb and we put another shape, another form. What are the key words of the past simple tense? Ago, yesterday, yesterday morning, yesterday afternoon, yesterday evening, last week, last month, last year, in September 2006, on Saturday, 17th of September. Next. The past simple use. We use the past simple to talk about finished actions that happened in the past. We usually say when she went in 2006 and then again in 2012. She spaced the Navy 25 years ago. Here we have the word ago. It's one of the past simple keywords. So, we must put uh, in this sentence the verb in the past. She joined the Navy 25 years ago. Let's remember the present perfect tense together. What's its form? He, she, and it take has and the past participle of the verb. But 
I, we, you, and they take, have, and the past participle of the verb. For example, he has seen an elephant. We put here has because the subject here is he. Then we put the past participle of the verb see. Another example, I have finished my homework. We put here have because the, sh the subject here is I. So I takes have. Then we put the past participle of the verb finish. And the verb finish is a regular verb, so we just added ed to the base form or the infinitive. What are the key words of the present perfect tense? Never yet, just, already, and so far. What about the present perfect use? We use the present perfect, number one, to talk about experiences at some time in our lives up to now. We don't say when they happened. For example, she has been to the ISS twice. In this sentence, we didn't say when she went to the ISS. But we spoke about her experience of going there. The second sentence, she has done seven space walks. In this sentence, we don't have any time, any specific time, but we sp speak here about her experience in general. The second use of the present perfect with for and since Example 1. They have been together for over 20 years. After the word for, we put a period of time. The second example. She hasn't gone into space. Yes, since November 2012. After the word since, we put a point of time and this sentence means that she didn't go into space from this date it's the the last time she went into space was in November 2012 now let's do this exercise together Circle the correct words. You will choose the verb in the past simple or in the present perfect. Sentence A. Sunita Williams worked or has worked for NASA for many years. Yes, we use the present perfect here because we speak about a general experience, a, an experience in her life and we didn't mention a specific time in the past, so we used the present perfect. Next, she did three space walks on her first mission into space. في البعثة بتاعتها هي عملت ثلاث جولات في الفضاء. In this sentence, we speak about something that happened at a specific time in the past. So, we used the past simple. Sentence C. On one space walk, a camera 
yes, became loose and floated into space. In this sentence, we also speak about something that happened at a specific time in the past. Next, sentence D. She has already spent more time in space than any other female. In this sentence, we put the verb in the present perfect because we speak about something is true of her life up to now. We, we speak about an experience in her life in general and there is no specific time. Uh, the word already means بالفعل. We put this word before the past participle of the verb. Sentence E. Williams visited or has visited India several times. Yes, has visited. We speak about an experience of her life. Sentence F. She took the two children from space on her second mission. In this sentence, we speak about something that happened at a specific time in the past, so we choose the past simple. The last sentence, astronauts never walked or have never walked on Mars. Yes, we speak about an experience, so we use have never walked. Look at this word, it's uh, never. To make the sentence in negative, we put the word never before the past possible of the verb. Now, let's do this exercise together. Complete the sentences with the correct form of the verbs. Yuri Malenkneko was born in 1961. Here we used the past simple of verb to be because we speak here about something that happened at a specific time in the past. And we will put here the past simple of the verb join. He joined the Russian Air Force in 1987. Yes, it's an action that finished in the past so we use the past simple sentence b he space an astronaut since 1987 here we have the word since so we speak about unfinished time so we will use the present perfect he has been an astronaut since 1987. Next, he first space into space in 1994. We speak about an action that finished in the past, so we will use the past simple here. Sentence D. He, yes, he has taken part in 10 space missions. Here we speak about a life experience of him in general and there is no specific time in this sentence so we used the present perfect. Sentence E. He, yes, he has done. We use the present perfect again because we spoke about a situation that started in the past and continued up till now. Next. Yes, 
he has spent more than 30 hours walking in space so far we speak about an experience use when yes he has won many awards for his work again we use the present perfect here because there is no specific time in this sentence we speak about an experience of him in general sentence H he yes sir, he married in the past simple his wife uh, Katrina in 2003 w when he when they married he was on the space station and she was on the ground here we speak about something happened at a specific time in the past so we use the past simple next complete the text with the correct form of the verbs we have some verbs here and we will use them in the next passage NASA space 3 robotic rovers to Mars uh, يعني robotic ali rovers يعني متجولين آليين uh, لكوكب المريخ since 2003 here we have to use the present perfect because uh, we have here the word since which uh, uh, is used with the present perfect and after since we put a point of time we, we speak in this sentence about something uh, happened in the past and is still continuing in the present something is true up to now next uh, the aim of the rivers is to explore the surface of the planet curiosity is the newest and the biggest of the rivers its space earth on 26th of November 2011 in this sentence we must do the verb in the past simple because we have the date here we have a specific time in the past and we speak in this sentence about something that happened at a specific time in the past next and it yes it arrived on Mars on 5th of August 2012 curiosity is still on Mars it yes it has taken thousands of fascinating photos we speak here about an experience so we use the present perfect and in this sentence we don't have a specific past time and it space lots of interesting soil samples أخذوا بعض عينات من التربة في كوكب المريخ and it yes it has collected lots of interesting soil samples we speak here about uh, uh, an experience in general and we don't have any specific time next it yes it has sent back huge amounts of scientific data to NASA we speak about something happened but we don't have any time expression here uh, we speak about an experience in general up to now 
Next. In September 2012, Curiosity, yes, made a very exciting discovery. عملت اكتشاف مدهش. We used here the past simple because we have a specific time in the past. It took photos that showed there used to be water on the surface of Mars. Uh, again, we use here the past simple because we speak about something happened and finished in the past. We speak about a finished action at a specific past time. Next, we use the present perfect to ask about an experience in someone's life up to now. Let's see this example. Have you visited the space center yet? We start with have, then we put the subject plus the past participle of the, the verb. And we put in the yes or no question the word yet at the end of the question. We can put ever before the past possible of the verb. Have you ever been to the USA? If the subject here is she instead of you, so we will start the question with the word has. We will say, has she ever been to the USA? Next. If the answer is yes, we use the past simple for all the questions that follow. So the first question will be the present perfect, but all the following sen uh, questions will be in the past simple after that. When did you go? I went last year. How long did you stay? I stayed for two weeks. Now, let's do this exercise together. Tick the correct questions and correct the wrong ones. There are two more incorrect questions. Question A. Have you ever seen... No, we put in the present perfect the past possible of the verb. So, the right question, the correct question is, have you ever seen a picture of Cassini Highlands? Sentence or question B, have you ever visited the space center in Houston? Yes, this question is true. We started the question with have, then we put the subject, then ever, uh, and the past participle of the verb. Question C. How long have you stayed at the exhibition on Saturday? This sentence or this question is wrong. We must do this question in the past simple. We said we ask the first question in the present perfect and all the following questions after that will be in the past simple. How long did you stay at the exhibition on Saturday? Question D. Have you watched the TV program about Saturn last night? We have here the word last, which comes with the past simple. So, we will put the question in the past simple. It will be, did you watch the TV show? about Saturn last night? 
The last question, did you enjoy your visit to the museum yesterday? Yes, we have the word yesterday. It comes with the past simple. So, this question is correct. Next. Complete the dialogue with the correct form of the verbs. How long have you worked for NASA? We speak about an experience. We speak here about something started in the past and continues up till now. So we use here the present perfect. The answer is for seven years. When? Yes, you first space go into space. Yes. We must put here the question in the past simple tense. So we will put here did and the infinitive. When did you first go into space? The answer is five years ago. And when we see the word ago, we must put the question in the past. Next, how many times space you space into space yes we speak about an experience of his life so we use the present perfect tense how many times have you gone into space we ask about his experience the answer three times but this is my second mission to the space station. How long space you space there on your first mission? Nearly five months. Here we speak about a finished action. So we must put the verb in the past. We must put the question in the past simple. Why? Because we speak about a finished action at a past time, a specific past time. Next, wow, and space you ever space a spacewalk. When we see the word ever, we put the verb in the present perfect. So, and have you ever done a space walk yes I've done three when when we ask with when we must put the verb in the past simple when did you do the last one we didn't ask with the present perfect and start the the question with the word when the answer I walked in space last week the last question space you ever space anything strange in space we, s we ask him about an experience so we speak about this using the present perfect tense we start with have because the subject here is you then we put the past possible of the verb C after the word ever the answer no I haven't yet but I am keeping my eyes open look at this how long has he been there this means he is still there now but how long was he there? This means he is not there now. Thanks for your watching.